Do you have any idea of where this is going to take us? It's going to change things a lot, everything. I think that um, it's going to give a lot more people a lot more in-depth information if that's what they want. And I'm already experiencing myself and seeing um, people that I know that are on. Uh, you get this information overload. I mean, whatever you want to know about. Uh, you can pretty much find something. And what that does is that it throws the switch into it, it back on me. It's not like I have to go to the library and curse the fact that there isn't any current information. It's not, I know it's on there, so it's up to me to do something about it to go find that information. Now, if anyone <coughs> who is on the internet, and this is going to probably include all students in all schools, certainly in this country, in the very near future, yeah. uh, can find out whatever information is available that certainly is going to change things, but I, I see... Because there are a lot of lies that are, that are um, <coughs> put forth, and so at least it balances it out. You can see both sides of it. But we have controversy going on. They, they want to put in a clipper chip, for example. They want to uh, prevent encryption. They want to stop people from communicating secretly. There, if I were a parent, I'd be kind of concerned, and I'd have all sorts of net nanny software and all sorts of blocking things. The kids are going to find it anyway if they really look for it. Um, they, they finally got through to the government officials that trying to censor the internet is impossible because there'll be some uh, mirror site in New Zealand. For instance, the, the Scientologists were on it to trying to censor the fellow here in Boulder. Um, but they it's impossible. Pretty, pretty good uh, encryption. Pretty good privacy is, pretty is one way. That was his code system. Well, those, those are two different uh, sets of folks. And pretty good privacy guy, Mr. Zimmerman, I believe his name is, um, has a heck of a time with the government because they figure that this is such an important technology that well, just, it's considered a weapon. Just, uh, just to, to explain, he developed an encryption system. Yes. And he put it out on the Internet so anyone in the world could download it right. and use it. And, and the government flipped out. The government, the government felt that he was exporting secret material or, or secure, mm -hmm. violating security. Right. What, what has happened to him? I don't know. I haven't followed it. Yeah, I've I written I, about it. I think, but I, think he, I think he's coming out all right. I just don't think he can sell his advanced technology overseas because it's considered a weapon or weapons level type technology. I think that he's all right, but I'm speaking out of ignorance right now. Okay. And see, this is some place where I would find the website, his website, and link to it so that I can use this in conversation. And if somebody is interested in finding out the facts, they can go get them. And if I need to back up what I'm talking about, I know enough about pretty good privacy that I can use it in another conversation. But I don't have the information. I know it's there. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember uh, uh, in an earlier time, 40 years ago or so, that uh, I would sit with friends and we would have uh, disputes. And each of us would come up with our version of the facts. Mm -hmm. Today, there are a million more versions of the facts. It's not that anybody's more right than anybody else. It's everybody has their view, but they're all out there. So you put the pieces together, but you have so many more dots to, t to connect. Um, so that's what I mean about information overload. Because if you really want to find the answer to a question, I mean, what brought down Flight 800? You could spend the next two weeks reading all of the websites that have their idea of why. Um, do you want to spend your time like that? I don't know. Well, an example on the uh, Ramsey case, JonBenet Ramsey, the little girl. Which was the only time. You asked me if uh, Broadvision had ever censored me or, uh, or asked me not to write about something. That's the one instance, the Ramsey murder case, that they asked me to write about something in particular because I was here. They, it was a particular request because you're, you're yeah. local. They'd please do something on the Ramsey. But it was my understanding, um, and uh, I did so some internet checking on it, uh -huh. that there were people going on the internet and wiping pages or getting trying to interfere with, with the chat rooms, the conversations about the case, saying, you know, don't slander people and so on and so forth. Well, two things. The first thing is the Ramsey's real media smart. They uh, paid big money for a public relations firm to put up their own Ramsey website, which I pointed to in several articles because I thought it was horrific. You know, the first call they made was to a lawyer, right? And the second thing they do is put up a website to, to proclaim their innocence. And um, this, you know, so... And, that, that, and also they probably have the equipment on the website so they know anyone who's watching their... Yes. Who's checking their website. Right. So they know anyone who's interested in the case. Now, I, I think that it's a fairly tricky deal to go in, and, and people have done it. They've broken into... Uh, the FBI's website and Department of Defense, if that's a real clean hack. That's a very difficult thing to do. However, on a news group, for instance, which is kind of a slow-moving bulletin board of people's kind of static uh, sentences about one subject or another, there's a way to go in and, and what they call forge cancel messages, which happened to me a lot when I was on the news group here, in, uh, I think it's called Boulder General, 
and I'd complain about one thing or another. There, there were people that would go in, and they forge my password uh, because they're more savvy than I am, and they just take my message off. So it's like a, an open conversation, and you're, and you're censored by someone who you've uh, annoyed. But it's harder on the web. It, uh, they do it all the time on news groups. So I know it's, it's like you wrote a message, posted it posted on the it wall. Posted it publicly on the wall. And someone erased it, and yes. you didn't even know that they did it. Well, yes, I do know that they do, uh, did it, and because I can see the wall. But it's annoying to have to continually repost it. And um, it, it's, it's a kind of like reverse graffiti. It's a shame. I, I but it's harder to do on the web. It's really hard to take a website down. I would imagine that, uh, as in any other form of communication, uh, there's a lot of what you might call perversions or, oh or negative things. You know, I thought my uh, faith in the human race had, had fallen about as far as it could go. Um, and then you start searching around for some just ugly stuff, and, and there's incredibly ugly stuff. As I say, if I were a parent, I'd be kind of worried. But on the other hand, um, you might as well expose yourself to it and just uh, come to some kind of an opinion on this. This is fairly sick. But yeah, anything you want is out there, and it's in color. And usually, you can probably get a video download of it, too. Well, we live in an amazing time right now. I mean, it's the, the millennium is approaching. Uh, just a few years from now, it'll be the year 2000. And yet, the acceleration of information exchange has gotten, I mean, it seems to be uh, every six months or every three months. Uh, well, we, we've never doubling. had to deal before with um, everybody from all corners of the globe, well, in, in most countries, being able to talk to one another uh, without all the cumbersome things that used to get in the way. What's going to happen? I don't know. Is this going to be a good thing or a bad thing? But enough about that. Back to me. Mm -hmm. um, We've got a couple of minutes left for you. OK. <laughs> uh, I think one of the important things for, for anybody, uh, if they have a story to tell, or if they have pictures of their family that they're proud of, or they want to get in touch with other family members, put something out on the web. Um, for writers especially, it's important to put some of your stuff out. Uh, if anybody does a, a search on my name, they're going to find my pages just on my name because I have enough pages out there. So if I've been, as I say, contacted by a family uh, with the same name. I don't know whether I'm actually related, but it's an odd name. They find me on the net. So when you write a daily five columns a day? Uh, one column a day, five days a week. Okay. Do those columns then get wiped out, or are they always there for anybody that wants them, your, your old columns? My old columns, I archive them because of the work I put into them. Uh, whether Broadvision archives them or not, I, I don't think at this time they do. They consider it disposable programming. Content is king is um, the war cry of certain websites. Um, and they, they feel that every day there should be something fresh for people to read. Just kind of like a newspaper model or a magazine model, uh, but always live. So they use the, ma the newspaper mag uh, model. Well, there are an awful lot of unfortunate um, words that carry over. They're called web pages. They don't web pages. They're displays and, and columns. It isn't a column. It's a, I don't know whether it's an article. It's, it's full of links. There's, there's nothing that really compares to it. So we're, we're dragging along a lot of the old term for terminology the way it always happens in media. It's just it's compressed now, as I say, okay. the, the last five years. OK, we're, we're coming to the end of our show, but I, I'm anticipating having you on again, maybe in six months or a year, and getting a whole new picture whole different story. the way things are going. Uh, the, we've been uh, interviewing Don Reggae, our first internet columnist, and uh, a man of the year 2000, uh, and uh, something that everyone can do. Anyone who has access can, can do the same thing. And uh, it's fascinating to me, kind of an instant communication with everyone in the world who's wired in. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is Robert Cohen for Rocky Mountain Writers. Don Reggae, thanks a lot. Enjoy it.